Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and pause this simulation. I'm going to go ahead and delete the sun. And let's replace the sun with R136A1. So where would it be? It'd probably be right there. So it's a mass of 260 suns. Let's go ahead and just see what happens if it sits in the solar system. There we go. And let's hit play. So nothing too bad happened. If you guys liked the video, please subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, I'm just joking. Let's go ahead and uh, try to balance out the system. And I did revert back to the previous version of Universe Sandbox 2 because I am actually having issues. Uh, the current version for some reason. Well, let's go ahead and replace this solar system. Let's pause the game rid of our sun, drop back in our 136A1, making sure it is a still object, and there should be a button here for balance system momentum, which should hopefully fix the orbits. It should increase the velocity of like all the planets to hopefully have stable orbits around our 136A1, but I might have to do that after I hit play. So I'm gonna click it again, and hopefully, nope, everything is just falling right back into the star. There goes Jupiter. And it apparently went right through it or something. There it goes. Must have missed and then swung back around and just fell right in. And it looks like Saturn is just out of here. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. I guess what I'll have to do is I'll probably have to place Earth around R136A1. Let's go ahead and start a new simulation. I guess the uh, question for the video now is how far would Earth have to be to have kind of a survivable temperature around R136A1? we could view the zones for it. Okay. Or not. I guess R136A1 does not have a habitable zone marker thing. It's, uh, it definitely shows up for other stars. I guess it's saying nothing is really habitable around R136A1. I'm not too sure. Well, let's just go ahead and start dropping Earth in at random increments. Let's go ahead and place one at one astronomical unit as kind of the control. Drop one in at six. Which, I can't imagine being this close to the star. It's going to be in any way habitable. Let's go for ten. Let's drop one at like the distance of Pluto. I imagine it'll probably still burn up even at this distance. So there we go. Guess we'll drop one right here at uh, 100. 5,000. And we'll just drop one way out here at like 13,000. Okay, so let's go to our control, which is the one at one astronomical unit. And let's get, let's just get an idea of how big this star is in our, in our sky at one. What is even going on with the planet? I think that's a sign of saying uh, it's not going to survive. Yeah, that's a bit scary. Let's go ahead and slow down time a little bit and let's hit play. And that was about as, uh, as expected. Let's check out the one that's over here. Let's go ahead and get a uh, motion up so we can see the semi-major axis. 6.55. This one, I don't think, is actually cooking away. No, the mass is actually staying. It's stable. But the temperature is quite warm. Sitting at 5,745 degrees Celsius. Very warm planet. This one is at a distance of... 10. 
It's a temperature of 4,400, so... Quite warm. This is one I think I place at the uh, distance of Pluto. It's sitting at 2,200. Um, this one is currently sitting at... 103 astronomical units, and it has a temperature of 1,200 degrees Celsius. So it's slowly cooling down. This one is definitely too hot. Sitting at... 538 degrees Celsius at a distance of 206 astronomical units. So that one has liquid ocean. We'll come back to that. This one's at 300 astronomical units and still has a little bit of water, but it's sitting at 155 degrees Celsius. So it's a pretty warm planet. But we have this one here, sitting at a temperature of 74 degrees Celsius. So quite warm. Places, as you can see, the... Uh, United States and uh, South America there. They don't really have any green life on them. In fact, all the green life is probably up here in the north. I'm shocked that there's actually still polar caps. Oh, it just kind of disappeared a little bit there. Uh, that might be melting away, but shockingly enough, it's habitable at this distance. I'm quite surprised that there's actually polar caps on there. Let's go ahead and skip over to the next step which is at 31 degrees Celsius. Now that's a bit closer to normal, but still quite warm. Yeah, the tropical regions would still be quite bad on this one. Uh, they'd probably be hitting like 45, 50 degrees Celsius on a bad day. So maybe even warmer than that, maybe like 60. So I guess we'll skip over to the next one, which is sitting at 2000. So this one might be, oh yeah, it's sitting at 18 degrees Celsius, a little bit warmer than what we are here currently on Earth. Average. But I would say this one is perfectly fine, of course, given it's next to a Wolf Riot star, so it's probably not going to be fine for too much longer. A very, very short lifespan. Uh, and this one seems to be mostly habitable. Of course, the scenery is a little bit off. Let's go ahead and change it to something that you'd more expect around a wolf ride star. That's a bit better. Now let's go for the, uh, oh, this is a red one. It has some blue mixed in. But there we go, that's a bit more like a wolf ride star. Now I guess the uh, question is, since these things are pretty unstable and have very short lifespans, what would happen if the uh, wolf ride star actually blew up? Let's go ahead and make it go supernova. And once I apply, it's gonna basically detonate and probably destroy most of these Earths. Let's see what happens. Looks like we have a beautiful orange supernova with a little bit of blue mixed in. And there is a remnant here, which is a black hole, equivalent to 15 suns. And let's just see what's happening to these Earths. This one's equivalent to 81 moons now. And it's still boiling away. So that one's probably going to fully dissipate. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. Also boiling away rather quickly. Shockingly fast, in fact. Currently moving at a time step of one hour per second, as you can see at the uh, bottom left here. Let's go ahead and check out these two. I don't think the supernovas actually hit these yet. Oh, it definitely has, actually. But they don't appear to actually be uh, cooking away from what I can tell. They're just getting incredibly hot. Oh, nope, they are definitely boiling away. And there goes that Earth. A little ball of plasma, it looks like. This one is getting quite warm. Climbing up to 7,000 degrees Celsius. And the temperature is actually dropping more than enough.
This one's dropping in temperature as well. Yeah, supernovas in this game seem to have like some kind of cutoff. Like they'll expand out and burn planets away for a certain amount of time, but then they'll just suddenly not do anything at all. Like the particles particles will expand so much that they're like suddenly just not effective. Instead of like plateauing or anything like that. It's a little bit weird. But it seems like they're working on the supernovas like every update, so... Hopefully in the future they'll be like uh, a little bit more destructive and maybe have some cooler effects, but... Currently it just seems like they expand, destroy a bunch of things, and then just abruptly stop. Even though after obviously a great distance, a supernova wouldn't do any more damage, but... Uh, yeah, it's still quite weird. And this one still seems to be mostly survivable. Um, it's actually dropping in temperature now that it doesn't have a parent star, so it's actually going to go and start freezing over. Weirdly enough. So I don't think it really had like any influence from the temperature at all. I think it just kind of uh, sat out here at its normal temperature and just kind of started dropping because the supernova never actually hit it while the supernova was doing damage. Pretty weird, but as I say in the description of like every video for this, um, this game is an alpha, it's still being worked on. Hopefully they can start improving things like that. And I can't wait to see what they have in the future. But I think that's the end of this video. If you guys liked the video, please subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.